Guys, Oda just revealed some very vital information. This info is regarding Luffy, Emu, the Five Elders, the Ancient Weapons, and the Holy Knights. I know, I know there are a lot of factors in play, but Oda has finally connected all the dots with the newest edition of Saint Garling. First, we know that Luffy has the Gomu Gomu no Mai model Nika, so this means Luffy is the representation of the sun, and the sun brings light to the world and makes people happier. So Luffy is the sun that brings joy to people's hearts. Next up we see the five elders all have their respective names as one of the planets in our solar system. Shepard Jupiter is Jupiter, Ethan Baron V. Nusjuro is Venus, Topman Valkyrie is Mercury, Marcus Mars is Mars, and Jay Garcia Saturn is Saturn. And we know back in Roman times, humans thought that these five planets orbited Earth because Earth was thought to be the center of the solar system. Also, we know there are nine planets in our solar system when including Pluto. Now that we have five of the nine out of the way, let's jump into the ancient weapons Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, who all take on their Greek god names. One is the sky, the other is the ocean, and lastly the underworld. So that's three out of the final four. And we know these weapons were not supposed to oppress others, but help them achieve their earthly ambitions. And it was made to free the world and unite them together. Now we have Emu that represents Earth. Emu which represents the ego of man and obsession over Earth fought for the possession of ancient weapons, and most importantly the control over others. And let's not forget the moons of these planets, and who did Oda just introduce, that has a head shaped like a crescent moon? That's right. Scient Fingerland Garling. This shows Oda has finally introduced all the main players and that they all are connected in a way. Emu represents Earth's ego to control and has the five elders or planets and corresponding moons revolving around him thinking he is the center of the solar system. Versus Luffy, who represents the sun that the solar system actually revolves around. Emphasizing the idea that Luffy will bring light to the world by revealing the truth. So what do you guys think of this theory? Is this just a coincidence or do you think Oda meant to have all these things line up?